Hello, this short film is to show you the Straightpoint wireless centre of gravity software. This software connects to any of the Straightpoint wireless compression load cells and will work with up to 30 load cells. The opening screen gives you guidance on the layout of load cells for any lift. In this instance, we have four load cells, one, two, three, and four. And here you can see a datum and then X and Y coordinates between. This software will allow you to enter the coordinates either by a measurement value in meters or feet or using GPS coordinates. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's configure the system. So we click on configuration and here you can see all of the units and the measurements and the other parameters that we can set in. So we can choose which units we're using. So in this instance, we will use tons. But you can select kilograms, pounds or kilonewtons. You can then format the resolution and the readability of the kilos, tons, pounds and kilonewtons. Here you can format the measurement. So if we're going to be using meters, let's go to the nearest 10 millimeters. If you want to use GPS coordinates, you can format how these will read in these boxes here. And lastly, you can enter a company name for the test to appear on the top of the reports. Once you complete, you can come back to the main menu. So the software is configured. We can now enter new test and configure and select load cells. Within this screen, you'll see a number of free entry fields and some selectable boxes. The first one is the number of sensors that we'll be using. So in this case, we'll be using four, but the software will allow you to use up to 30. We then have a project name, a project number, client name, and an operator name. Temperature, wind speed, and wind direction. These are all free entry fields that you can enter. In this instance, I've selected four load cells from my inventory, and these are the serial numbers of the load cells. And as you can see, they're all 50 ton load cells. If you click on the inventory button here, it opens up a database where you can store all of the load cells that you have, as many as you need different capacities, different combinations. If you have more than 15 load cells, this button will become alive and you can then view the next 16 to 30 load cells for the test. Also within this screen, you can see that we can enter in the local X and Y position for the load cell if we're using measurement, which we are in this instance, or if you're using GPS coordinates, you can use these two boxes here. So in this instance, we're going to say that load cell 1 is at 0, 0, and then we're going to have a 10 meter span between the two load cells. And we'll go back to the main menu. So the system is set up and the load cells are configured. We can now view real time. We can see from here, we have the four load cells, the serial numbers, and the local X and Y coordinates. And there is a load on each load cell. And you can see that this object is uneven. We've got a live X and Y position, and a total weight of 130.2 tons. If I add some load to load cell number four, take it to 50 tons, you can see that X and Y position is moving real time, as is the total weight. You can get a visual representation of the center of gravity by clicking on graphical view. If you click on here, you can see where that would be. That moves real time as the load moves. If we come back to the view real time screen. Once you're happy that the load is settled and everything is placed, we can start to record the readings and then we can create the report. So the load is steady on the load cells. We're happy with wind speed, etc., and other conditions on site. We can now start to record the readings to build up our report. On the bottom here, you see there have been no recordings made so far. So we'll take the first reading, record. I'll now just change the load slightly so that we can get a slightly different load for the second reading. Let's assume that you maybe lifted the item, put it back down, twisted the load cells 90 degrees record again and you can see two recordings have been made and record for a third time and it then will generate this report 
So from the report, you can see it's an HTML format. You can see they've got the date, operator, project, project number, and client. Look at the results, and it shows you the temperature, wind speed, wind direction. We have the global and local coordinates, and in this case, this was a 10 meter by 10 meter item. And the load cell positions one to four, the three weighings that we did, and then the mean. We have a global and a local C of G result. Again, over three weighings with a mean. And then your statistical analysis at the bottom here. Finally, you have a point for the representatives to sign off, date, and witness the whole test. Once you've finished, you can come into report folder and you can view other reports from other projects that you've done or you can come back to the main menu and when you're finished, close. And that is the wireless center of gravity software with a 30 channel capacity. So there is the straight point 30 channel wireless center of gravity software. You can see why this software is popular in the heavy lift, machinery moving and fabrication industries. For more information, please check out our website straightpoint.com. Thank you.